listen to the voice that many say could be the next big diva. Première chanson, c'était c'était Barbra Streisand que j'entendais. C'était la future Streisand que j'entendais. Et finalement, pour moi, peut-être la plus belle voix dans le monde, Lara Fabienne.
Parmi ses compagnies, Sony USA, qui n'a pas voulu laisser cette chanteuse à voix lui glisser entre les doigts. Le coup de téléphone n'a donc pas tardé à venir. Hello. Pourquoi vous n'avez pas rencontré Tony Motola, le président de Sony Il est vraiment enthousiasmé par la voix, le, le style. Sony is the one that captured her. You guys come to me many things through the years. I think now it's perceived as a powerhouse vocalist. She arrived here that way. And if there's a label that knows how to break big female singers, i.e. Celine Dion, uh, Sony Records is definitely the one. Tommy Motola pour vous donner une idée de son talent. Eh bien, il faut savoir que sur les 10 premiers artistes du top 50 aux états unis il en produit 8. Alors, euh, comment cette petite Belge, Lara Fabian, a-t-elle bien pu faire pour se retrouver en l'espace de quelques années au firmament ouais, C'est vrai que le, le parcours de Lara Fabian est étonnant. Et... Julie Bouchud est vice-présidente chez Sony USA. C'est elle qui va s'occuper de la carrière internationale de Lara Fabian.
To prepare for her English language debut album, Sony spared no expense. They set her up with some of the greatest producers and composers in the business. There's no puppeteer in the background pulling the strings and then she walks out and does does the her job, which is to sing. No, she is creating, she is bringing it to the table, she is ultimately going to be representing herself to the public. We're here only to amplify that and, and absolutely throw ideas into the mix as well. She makes the decision. Lara Fabian est dans un studio de New York. Elle est sur le point d'enregistrer Broken Vow, une chanson qu'on retrouvera sur l'album. Elle a écrite et composé avec Walter Afanasieff, le producteur de Mariah Carey. Le Sony peut faire de Lara Fabian une artiste internationale. Les chanteuses à voix sont devenues extrêmement populaires auprès des compagnies de disques depuis le méga succès de Céline Dion. Aujourd'hui, les deux chanteuses se retrouvent avec Sony. Donc, il y a une grosse compétition, ah, une compétition entre les équipes. C'est une compétition parce que chacun a ses preuves à faire au niveau des, des directeurs de chacune des, des étiquettes. Donc, que ce soit Epic ou Columbia, le dirigeant doit faire ses preuves. Sony a investi beaucoup d'argent dans ce vidéo clip, 400 000 dollars. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, God, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Oh, my God. I feel extremely lucky I can have you on this spot. Bill Pope est l'un des directeurs photo les plus prestigieux aux États-Unis. Il a fait The Matrix, un film aux effets spéciaux spectaculaires. One can be told what The Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. First, there was Tina, and with me, then Mariah and Celine. Fox's Amy Scott looks into the making of a new diva. Her name, Lara Fabian. This is Lara Fabian! This is Lara Fabian. Lara Fabian. Lara Fabian. Lara Fabian's record company is so sure you'll love her new CD. Johnny Fox joins us to introduce us to a young lady. People are confusing with two of the best singers in the world. What do you think about uh, when people compare Mariah Carey to you? I think that um, Mariah is Mariah, mm -hmm. and that's what she should be known for, mm -hmm. for her work, mm -hmm. and not for being compared or sounding like me.
Oh, she is amazing now, besides being a great singer. What may be amazing are the many similarities between this singing sensation and another dynamic diva you probably know. People are calling her Celine Dion's double. That voice has been compared to Streisand and Celine, but make no mistake, this is Lara Fabian. A 30-year-old singer who has been compared to Celine Dion and Barbara Streisand. You've been compared to Celine Dion and also to Barbara Streisand. On the one hand, that's so flattering. On the other hand, does that put some pressure on you as a new performer? Well, a comparison is a very normal human thing. I, I, and I'm, I'm in very high company, I have to say. <laughs> it's very honorable to be compared to these amazing talents. She has been compared to Barbra Streisand and has been called the next Celine Dion. But with a hit single, Lara Fabian is now making a name for herself. Congratulations, because I understand your, your single hit the Billboard charts here in the United States, which number one, yes. which is very, very exciting. Very excited, absolutely. It's Obviously, great. people have heard you on the radio or have begun to hear you on the radio. Is there room for another diva? Of course there is. Will she be a good diva or a bad diva? Today, when you speak the word diva, most of the time, it will remind you the people that you don't like the color of the limousine or the paper, and you have a tremendous diva attitude. So I would assume you would not like being called a young diva. Diva is Maria Callas, is Barbara Streisand, Aretha Franklin. These are divas. Mm. They can look at a career and turn around and say this Guess what? You're going to be there very soon. <laughs> Let me tell you. And that is just the beginning because we will use that base and continue to introduce new markets to, to her music. One that I'm sure will, will be incredibly successful. Parce que pour eux, ça rentrait trop dans une ligue de chanteuses et ils ne voulaient pas qu'il y ait de compétition à cet endroit-là. Ils ont décidé à la dernière minute que je fasse I Will Love Again, qui me décalait à ce moment-là complètement. 
comme de raison à We Love Again, c'est pas la grand balade avec laquelle, à ce moment-là, toutes les autres chanteuses de ma catégorie s'expriment. Too, like the mood to dance and stuff. I think she's really good. I think she's very mature compared to like all the other. It's not like the Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera. I like it a lot. The teen pop queens still have their place, but Lara Fabian is gaining on them. Sony a voulu refaire un autre album, ils ont mis beaucoup d'argent dedans, et puis ils l'ont droppé. Ils ont, quand ça a été l'heure de faire la promotion, On ils ont dit pas. non. The voice on that woman, like I said, she is definitely one of the best of the best in the world. Legendary uh, vocalist, there is absolutely no dispute in that. Um, she is definitely in the top of the top, alongside Whitney, Mariah, Celine, all the greats. Laura Fabian has earned her spot there. She is impeccable. Man, just, uh, she's just an icon and legend and so many uh, people just has revered her as one of the greatest sopranos. Um, she's actually kind of more of a contralto soprano because she does a lot of stuff in her upper mid voice, belting stuff. And a lot of sopranos uh, can't really belt in their upper mid voice quite like she does. So I think she's a fabulous singer and I don't understand why she doesn't have a greater fan base. When you think of someone like Celine Dion and thinking of um, Barbara Streisand, I mean, she seems like that caliber of singer that has such a powerful voice and tell us such a powerful story and just fill hall and everybody can feel the emotion of her. Alright, I've came across a lot of very good, especially female performers, female singers, but one thing that is particularly amazing with Lara Fabian is the way her voice sounds because it sounds so warm to me, you know, it's a very well-rounded but somehow soothing and warm voice. There is something about that voice making it completely a standout. Her breath control is one of the best I've ever heard. Her breath support, the work of her diaphragm, she doesn't even have a bit of unnecessary vibrato. It's completely well controlled. Pitch perfect. I was waiting for just a slight, I don't know, flat note something just to prove to myself that she's human. She's not just a singer. This is how a complete artist sounds like. That is skill. That is so much skill right there. Incredible performance. Once again, so moving, so tender, so beautifully done by the incomparable Laura Fabian.
cover is still just as good as as the first day I heard it. To all my Mariah Carey fans who are on here, go check her out. Go listen to this version. It's honestly, I would consider it the second best version to Mariah's. Um, this was fantastic. She just had a beautiful. She always had a beautiful, warm voice, and her belts were always otherworldly, and her transitions were always otherworldly. Anybody who can sing Whitney Houston songs and be on key and on, you know, pitch perfect. I got a call from my friend Michael Bolton. He said, I'd really love to sing the prayer. Who should I sing it with? And I said, well, the best person on the planet to sing it with is Lara Fabian. Pour moi, t'es une référence, donc je dis pas Lara Fabian, un chant de com. C'est la vérité. Pour moi, t'es comme Céline Dion, t'es comme Whitney, t'es comme tu fais partie de, tu vois, t'es dans ces dans, dans ces divas là, quoi. Josh Groban qui euh, a chanté avec Barbara Streisand, avec Céline Dion et avec Lara Fabian. One of the great voices the world has ever known. Oh, une des plus grandes voix que j'ai entendues à travers la planète. C'est vraiment une leçon de maître que j'ai eue euh, en écoutant et en travaillant avec une voix d'une telle qualité. Franchement, on connaît peu de chanteuses. Oui. Moi qui chante comme... Enfin, franchement, excuse-moi, vous êtes d'accord avec moi. Si vous me demandez qui, comme ça, tout d'un coup, je vais vous dire... Euh... Bah, je vais vous dire Céline Dion et Lara Fabian. Est-ce que Céline est la plus grande chanteuse de notre époque? Oh boy! <rire> Ça dépend dans quel domaine. Moi, je dirais que quelqu'un comme une Barbara Streisand peut tenir tête à Céline Dion, mais mm -hmm. c'est sûr que Barbara Streisand est beaucoup plus âgée maintenant. Euh, si on va faire une Battle of the Divas, euh, j'aime beaucoup plus la technique vocale de Céline Dion que celle de Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey, pour moi, euh, sa technique est très, très pauvre. Euh, par contre, je préfère la voix de Lara Fabian à celle de Céline Dion, parce qu'il y a une rondeur un petit ben. peu plus présente. Alors, si on veut faire Battle of the Divas, je pense que ça dépend vraiment du goût personnel. Pour moi, peut-être la plus belle voix dans le monde, Lara Fabienne.
vraiment une chanteuse phénoménale. Ça, c'est pas des notes qui sont faciles à mm -hmm. frapper. Je sais, j'ai essayé, puis j'ai pas, ré... pas réussi. <rire> how much higher she can go because clearly this wasn't her top. I wonder how much longer she can sing and how long she sings in concerts because clearly she's just getting started right now. And
I will be right here waiting for you.
wish I had a river I could skate away on But it don't snow here, it stays pretty green I'm gonna make a lot of money and then I'm gonna quit this crazy scene Oh, I wish I had a river I could skate away on I wish I had a river so long I would teach my feet to Tried hard to help me, no, he put me at ease And he loved me so much, he made me weak and me So I wish I had a river I could skate away on I'm so hard to handle, I'm selfish and I'm sad now I've gone and lost the best baby that I ever had I wish I had a river could skate away I wish I had a river so long I would teach my feet to fly I wish I had a river I could skate away They're putting up reindeer and singing songs.